Hey guys. All right, today we are going to dig into Emily Lay's Simplified Planner. This is her, her 2016 to 2017 academic year, but also it goes for the entire 2017 year. Um, that's how she used to do her weeklies. This is her weekly in a bound book. Um, for this year, 2017, the first year, she's just doing it, I believe, it hasn't released yet, but I've heard she's just doing the academic year, one year, 12 months. But this was 18 months, I believe. Let me see, did it start in June? No, it started in August. Um, so uh, it was uh, 17 months, is that how much it is? Um, Anyway, it started in August of 2016 and goes through the entire calendar year of 2017. I already have another video up on this, but it was when I first started my channel and it's terrible lighting and hopefully I've got better since then about talking about these. So this is our newer, more updated video and I wanted to get it out now because um, this is the month of her release of her new bound books. I can't wait to see what they look like. So I'm gonna give you my pros and cons to this one. This planner never worked out for me personally to use. I tried and I will tell you my pros and cons and how I used it. So it is a beautiful bound book and it is smaller than an A5. I just wanted to show you with the Leuchtturm. Um, it's a teeny bit wider, like a millimeter or something. It's a teeny bit wider, but it is somewhat shorter so it's that much shorter than an A5. It does not have a band. Uh, I believe she puts these at $48 full price. Uh, we will see what hers comes out with this month, the new one. I picked the navy, and I absolutely love it with the gold on it. It's beautiful. The feel of the bound book is beautiful. Um, since I don't transport mine a lot, sometimes I would throw it in my church bag for a meeting, and it... I never had a problem not having a band, but I can see how if you keep it in your bag every day, I would actually like to have a band like the Lloyd's Germ that's hooked on, but it feels really good in your hands and it's a good size. Although I, I do think she should have just gone with the standard A5 size. It's so close. Um, and it's very good at laying flat. Once you massage your book and teach it, it, it really lays flat well which looking at videos of the new Erin Condren bound planner books that are just launching this month, um, hers just don't look like they do that. But Emily Lays really does. I mean, once you've used it and you've massaged it in, I haven't even gotten to this month and I didn't even use my book going that up close to June. It, it lays really well. She has the happy stripes in the front and the back, which are really beautiful touch on the end pages and really cute, I think. I like that, but no pocket up here. Um, that's just your information page at the front and her um, copyright page, and then a letter from Emily, then the process of simplifying and how to use your simplified planner. If you've never used a simplified planner, those might be helpful to you. Then she has her yearly overview calendar and her 2017 holidays. She also gave you a 2017 calendar in here, since this was a 2016 and 17. I tore that out to put up on my little magnet board, um, so that's not in here anymore, but she did have a 2016 and 17 yearly look there, and I like, I love any planner that I like that it comes with the holidays listed like that. So holidays that are important to me, I can mark and go mark them in my planner. So that, I like having that. Then she has my 2017-16 bucket list, which I wasn't using it for that. I was using it for visits to the in-laws for Sunday dinner and what I brought so I could keep track of that. Um, you can see right on the first page the ghosting problem. The biggest problem I've had with Emily Lay's uh, 2017 planners and the ones before that are ghosting. I love everything else about them. I think her quality is great. Um, and I haven't had any other problems but the ghosting. You can totally see that. It doesn't make me excited to go right on a page and to pay $50 for a planner. That's not even counting shipping, and her shipping is very high. 
um, her shipping for me in Texas has been $13 for every planner. And it, it only comes in a priority mailbox. Um, so I don't know why it has to be that high. Um, it does, let me grab it, come in a keepsake box <laughs> of which I am using for pens right now. And I showed that in another video. It makes a great pen holder um, or to put cards in in your closet. So it fits in this keepsake box. I don't have the lid right here to that keepsake box, but this is what it looks like. This is the bigger version that her daily comes in. The weekly keepsake box looks exactly the same. And I keep cards and stuff in there from my kids in my closet. It's a really nice, really sturdy box. So her weekly and her daily both comes in that. For the price, I love having that box. Um, but, so for the price, of the shipping and the planner. But what I was saying is it only comes in a priority mailbox and I don't know why it should cost $13 to get to me in Texas. Um, anyhow, so that would be my one gripe is her shipping price and um, the, the ghosting, the ghosting on all her pages in weekly and daily alike. And I have videos on Emily Lay's daily up also her 2017. I will try to remember to link those below. Now, when I first got her planner, this string was loose. Um, and I wrote them right away because I was worried about it, you know, if it was already like that. And they said that's normal. Something like that allows for the flex in the book and it's okay. Just don't pull on it. And they've been right. It hasn't caused me any problems at all. So this is what her monthly layout looks like all filled in. Let's go to a month that I have less filled in perhaps. Um, let's go to see what's filled in for October. Um, I stopped using this planner a couple months ago. Uh, when I found the weekly spread didn't work for me, I started using it for monthly only to make appointments and such and take to meetings because it was easy to throw in my bag. Um, that was before I got the Inkwell quarterly monthly which I then switched to for my throw in my bag monthly. So I have not used this, but I did fill out the whole year because I love to look ahead. So each month has its own color and the lighter colors are kind of hard to see. This is October. I do like her simplistic design though. You have notes down the side and you have a good amount of space up here, which I feel is kind of wasted. She has a quote for every month and then she has the previous month and the next month that you're going to up there. And she does have a Sunday start, like almost all calendars do, except for Day Designer. Day Designer is the only one that I have seen and reviewed um, planner that has a Monday start. So she has the typical Sunday start. And the boxes are small because I feel like there's a lot of wasted space up here. I feel like these two calendars could be put maybe at the bottom of the notes. And, um, or maybe even on months with extra room down here, like that can be changed monthly for where you have extra room at the start or the finish. And then she could move all the boxes up and add room to every box. I would actually like that. But um, that's what her calendar looks like. Her paper feels amazing. And I said this in her daily video. The paper feels amazing. And I love the rounded corners. Absolutely love that. Um, but while it feels good and it feels good to write on, it has a good tooth and it feels thick, it's the same problem as her daily. I don't know what her GSM is, but on her site, it just says it's the Mohawk paper, but it's, it bleeds through terribly. Um, I will show you on some of the pages that I have written on. So I wrote on this, you know, calendar on the back and those are with flare pens and my Pilot Precise V5. So that's what pens those are. And on the back, you can clearly see how much ghosting you get there. And to me, just to pay this much for a planner, it is not fun for me to turn the page to see my weekly spread, my new week, and see so much ghosting. And there would be ghosting on this side, except I haven't used that page at all. So there would be even more ghosting. Uh, to open and see. Let's see if we can find a page where I've used like both sides before it. I'm not sure if we can. Um, but you can definitely see there is 
like I open to this page and I'm not excited to write on this week because it doesn't seem blank to me. There's way too much ghosting. So I'm not sure what's going on with the paper because it feels thick and it feels good quality, but it definitely shows through um, worse than any other planner. More than get to workbook and get to workbook feels like thinner paper. It shows through more than plum paper doesn't show through at all. Um, Inkwell does not show through at all, quarterly or bound. Um, Day Designer, I did some pen tests and it did not show through this bad at all either. So that's what the bleeding or not, it doesn't bleed through, but it's ghosting. Um, and you can see like, so if you're marking off just one line through each day of the month and it's not a ballpoint pen, so I'm not pushing super hard, but you get all that. So that was actually a La Pen, which she recommends and is one of her favorite pens to write in her planners with. So it makes me think she's using the same pen. This whole month was La Pen and the orange was a flare. I can tell. So if she's using her planner like this, I don't see why she's not noticing this. Maybe she's just switching out planners so much it doesn't bother her. But everything else is such good quality. I really wish they would fix that ghosting on their paper because that's the only thing that's pencil and those are sharpie pens so that's what was showing through on this side um i do love the way this bound book feels though and uh i would totally love it if it weren't for all the ghosting and just simply the weekly layout just did not work for me um that's a sharpie pen and you can see how much that bled through too. And you can check it out how it looks in the daily. I will post my newer um, Emily Lay daily review video down in the description too. But here's her weekly layout and it just didn't work for me. Uh, so that was kind of the deal breaker on this besides the ghosting. But like I said, I went ahead and used it for monthly for a while anyway to throw my bag. Um, and it comes with a really nice ribbon. And I think that's like a necessity in a bound book. I almost think you need two ribbons like Lloyd Sturm has because many times you might want to mark where you are in the week, but you also might want to mark in the, the monthly that you're on. So I love that it comes with a ribbon. And uh, here is her layout if you want to see it. She just leaves this side blank and this side has tick boxes like for to-dos and a little pot simmering for like if you want to write in your dinner meal. So her dates are each given a color, just like her daily. Um, each day of the week is given a different color and it's repeated the same. Mondays are navy, Tuesdays are a dark teal, Wednesdays are a light teal, Thursdays are a Kelly green, Fridays are a yellow, Saturdays are a pink, and Sundays are a darker pink or magenta. Now I like having all this color, but I don't love how light the yellow looks or even the light teal or the light pink because I feel like when I'm kind of far away from my page it's hard for me to see like what date it is because it's so small and um, it's just not a really saturated dark color so those three lighter colors give me problems I do like how she picked a color for each day of the week and repeats it because it can kind of ingrain in your brain and she does the same thing with her daily that that day of the week is that color so without even having to look too much it gets ingrained in your brain because she said each day of the week feels like a, a different color to her based on mood and I totally yeah that's cool I like that but that is her setup oh and I forgot to mention Saturday and Sunday is of course really tiny in the weekly that's not enough room for me at all and she takes up a huge portion of the tiny portion you get of Sunday with her weekly prep tasks now, I already mentioned this in my daily video, but those are not my week weekly prep tasks. And if they are, those are things I might already know to do or I can choose to write them down myself. Um, so I don't like that those take up most of my Sunday and I have no other room to write anything down. I just, I don't like that. Something I forgot to mention, when there is a holiday, she does write it next to the day, which I do love, like Labor Day is there. I like that. And there is always a quote, one per week in the top right hand corner, which some people just love. 
Um, I don't even remember to read them all the time, like in her daily, which I'm still working in. So it, her layout didn't work for me. It just, you know how some things don't flow for your life. Saturday and Sunday was too small. The days were actually too small. I felt like there was a lot of wasted room in this big blank areas for the date. The ghosting is kind of the deal breaker for me too, besides all that. But her lines were pretty small for me. And um, it just wasn't enough room and it just didn't flow for me, her breakup and her design. But it might work for some people. And I would love to have like a small bound book like this. It's just so lightweight to carry around. It feels good in your hands. And if you get like a navy color like this or something, it can look pretty professional. So um, those are my main things. All pros except for the ghosting. Oh, yeah. And I tore out. She had like about eight to ten note pages back here. But I had written some notes on I needed to keep. And I took those out. But this is what, <laughs> those are all my note pages I cut out. This is what her notes looks like. It just says notes really tiny over here really light in the light teal blue and then it's just lined and it's much bigger lines than are in your weekly so I actually like that I love having the note pages because that's crucial and then after all the note pages it just goes back to the happy stripe so there's no tabs for months which I heard though I think there will be tabs for months coming out in her academic one for this coming year um, so that is the Emily Lay Bound Weekly Simplified Planner. Uh, let me know if you've ever had this in your hands, if you've used it. Let me know if you have the same ghosting complaint. I would love to hear how you're liking it or if you love it and you have no problem with it. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.